Hey everybody, Tom here, your host at The Convo, and today is a special day, and I'll tell you why in just a second, because um, it's very rare that you have friends, you have uh, colleagues, business partners, or clients even, that come all the way from California and make it to your studio down here in Davao City, and today we have the great Todd Lay. Hey everybody. House. Has been running, um, was that simple back office for the past 10 years? Yep. And he has a rocket set up, and today we're just gonna spend some time with him talking about um, a little bit of the history of the business, uh, how he brought it into the digital world, and uh, maybe a little bit of a tip for everybody who's watching all our 50 million viewers. Am I right, Raj? Behind the camera is Raj, we got KZ in the house, Jan's over here doing the show notes, and we have BJ over here, just uh, another angle for the camera. Todd, over to you, man. How was the flight, first of all? Was it, was it okay? What flight, have you done? Yeah, so the flight was good. I've been through everything from train, bus, Uber. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a normal, right? I mean, if you're going to travel all the way to the other side of the planet, you're going to go through some of that. But, uh, you know, it was... It was great. They took care of me along the way and uh, makes it easy. Always just uh, my tip up front, I'm going to share with you, if you're going to travel international and you want to make sure you eat first out of everybody on the plane, order vegetarian. That's all I got. <laughs> they always come to you first. Well, the, um, well, Todd met up with his virtual team. That's why he's here. And yep. Plus, he... Uh, met up with different agencies as well in the different parts of the Philippines. I swear, we were talking about his travels in the Philippines. I'm like, dude, you're more well-traveled. You're, you're well-traveled in, com in comparison to me, and I'm a Filipino. That's not right. <laughs> so he's a very, uh, you know, he's, he, he, he's a very adventurous guy, and he's done a bunch of things in the Philippines, some of the things we shouldn't talk about. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, Todd, Todd, man, like, tell us about um, small back office and, and you know, a little bit of the history. Yeah, so Simple Back Office started uh, roughly around uh, 2004, 2005 area, and uh, you know, we started out initially, uh, it, was, it was a place for me to look at uh, providing uh, the small business owner with areas of, like answering of phones originally way back then, um, making sure phones didn't go to voicemail, uh, assisting with like virtual admin support then, and just a real modest version of what we would consider bookkeeping. Uh, for business owners and uh, fast forward a few years of getting kind of some experience along the way of working with uh, different business owners different industries uh, I quickly found that I wanted to rebrand the company and move into a niche um, specifically into outsourced bookkeeping as an outsourced component for our clients so cool um, if you're in the Philippines watching this you know that bookkeeping is done by a a bookkeeper that visits your your business every so often to make sure the books are, are kept well and uh, they, uh, they prepare for an audit, they help you on that to make sure that your expense reports are good. So Todd has successfully kind of created a, a business wherein, you know, it's, it's mostly digital and, and um, it's pretty interesting, he was explaining this to me. And by the way, if you're liking this content, if you feel like you want more of this, hit the like button. Put, put us a comment down there. Tell us, tell us what you think about Todd. But anyway, here we go. Um, so Todd, what is, you know, what's the percentage of digital, first of all, in your business? Is it like 50%, 70% most of digital? Or? Yeah, so as far as business, uh, going digital, I mean, a lot of our clients right now are 100% digital, where wow. when we work with a brand new client, um, we look at it as, as we're not going to be driving over to your office, we're not picking up bank statements, we're not getting receipts, we're not doing anything of that sort. Uh, the client's essentially going to be looking at uh, scanning, uploading, dragging, dropping, um, and even using a smartphone uh, to be able to send those documents over to us. And so that's the basic premise of where we kind of moved things to, I'd say, back in 2010. And I'm really just uh, really thrilled about what we've got now to where we can have clients, when we have questions, instead of sending emails back and forth or sending attachments or playing phone tag when we have questions, 
getting to a point now, when we got a question for a business owner, we can actually just change the status within our, our workflow application and it's gonna send right over a text message, including an embedded image of the document that we have a question for, allowing the client to respond real time right from their iPhone and just literally speak speech to text back and it goes right back into our workflow. And he showed me this technology and it's pretty amazing. Yeah. It's really amazing. I just I'm so thankful to be standing and alive at this time where you, you see all these things happen before your eyes. And the way you talk about it, it's almost like, you know, technology is a real accelerator for the business, for, for simple back office. And, yeah. and um, your clients, I'm not sure, like you, you, you mentioned that you work with Cairo and... Um, dental. Dental, and you have some other types too, but... Right. Um, what is like, when, when they start the engagement with you, do they have concerns and questions that it's all done virtually or digitally? Is it, is it, is well, it I a, think, a barrier? Yeah, so I think what happens initially for, uh, for that small business owner, they're usually coming from a place of pain as it is. Most of our clients um, are coming from us in the sense of from either their, uh, their tax preparer or their business banker. And those are the ones that actually are consuming our deliverable to start with. Like for instance, you can't file a tax return unless you've got a clean set of books, a clean set of financials. And so that tax preparer has to consume that information. They're not going to want it in a box. They're not going to want it, you know, um, you know, we've seen in the past when clients show, pulling up with wagons and boxes <laughs> and bungee cords and unopened mail. I mean, we, we've moved way beyond that now. But um, they're coming from a place of pain and frustration of usually they've got no structure, no system. And so when we design a structured environment for them to be able to get all that over to us and for us to be able to turn that into real data that they can actually look at managing their business with now. Um, that they can look at, you know, is labor creeping up? Is our, our profitability uh, shrinking because now we've, we've got too much, you know, say for instance, too much expense. Um, and a lot of small business owners, what they're doing is they're managing their business with what I refer to as cash on hand accounting, where they're just going to wellsfargo.com or Bank of America and going, well, I see we've got money. Um, I guess we're good to go ahead and buy that new F-150 pickup, <laughs> right? But they didn't realize they've got the lease payment, workers comp, yeah. payroll coming up, stuff like that. Wow. And so we distill it down into real data, making decisions, and it's real time in the cloud. So, so it's, what Todd is doing is really more than just bookkeeping or outsourced bookkeeping. It's business intelligence. Exactly. Allowing business owners that, that he works with or potential, potential business owners that he will be working with mm -hmm. to drive their business with data, like sound yeah. business decisions. And, and what, it, what it is, is it gives you know, the ability to have business owner to be on the front foot rather than on the back. Like, yep. instead of just reacting, actually being proactive with my finances. And I'm like, okay, Todd's over there saying, look, this is your current state. This is what you could do, one, two, three, four. Or, you know, whether you want to optimize, you want to do status quo, or you want to kind of or I want to be able to, Or I want to be able to look at hiring another staff member, and I'm not sure if we can quite afford it. And then, you know, we can go ahead and look at the reports together at the end of the, at the, end of the month or at the end of the quarter and identify to say, look, at your net profit's at 8% right now after expenses, after overhead. If you hire one person, if you have a financial hiccup, your business is going to be uh, in a tailspin. And a lot of times a business owner doesn't look at it quite through that lens. And that's really, that's the deliverable we provide to our client. This is amazing because um, I'm just going to tease people a little bit. There's a good chance that later down the line you might have an access, you might have access to Todd uh, in terms of information or, or things that could help you um, in your own business um, content, possibly, yeah. that, that you can use to kind of improve yourself. Right. Um, Sans being a, a client that does outsource bookkeeping with, with Todd. 
Well, eventually, yes, you would want to work with Todd after watching all of what he's going to say or what, what, you know, what he's going to share with you. But ultimately, it's, he's going to front load the value right. soon. And that's pretty exciting. Speaking of which, I will allow you to do like a 30-second shameless plug later at the end. Okay. Given that, you could give one tip, right? One tip to any business owner right now, because in the Philippines, you understand that a lot of brick and mortar, a lot of mom and pop shops, a lot of, you know, uh, small to medium enterprises are still very much paper, old school, yeah. traditional, yeah. and it is freaky to them as, an, as a thought to evolve into something more digital, right. driven by data. You know what I mean? So, Todd has done it, and, you know, Todd is a human being like yourself, and this is a good example that if you set your mind to it, if you have the right mindset, you could do it. And Todd is going to tell you his thoughts on that because he wants to encourage everybody who's watching this show or listening to this show that it can be done. You can do it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I look at it from, from the perspective of you're not going to know your business truly unless you know your numbers. And you have to, you've got to get really solid with the numbers. You've got to know everything from even on a marketing perspective. I mean, if you get really good at knowing how many leads you're generating, your conversion rate to actually those that are landing as customers at that point, we also have to look at what your retention is. And there's that whole conversation that goes in with that place. But there's also, how does your marketing impact your accounting? Um, on, on the flip side of that. And so I look at it as, is you need to really track everything. Um, and that is, is all of your expense. One of the things I'll go ahead and provide in the show notes uh, to this is I'll provide you my gift to you, uh, a six month trial to our new auto kept feature, which is a mobile app that literally allows you to speech to text and record and catch, uh, go ahead and uh, capture all of your mileage uh, expenditures cash purchases, expenses, things like that, you'd be able to go ahead and have all that directly right from your iPhone uh, with it. So we'll share with that a little bit later. But coming back to it, my, uh, my suggestion is as a small business owner to know your numbers is you gotta be able to review your financials on a regular basis. You should, if you're not already, if you're working with a bookkeeper at this moment, I would suggest that you're asking for a weekly financials of did we make a profit last week? You know, what was our revenue? What was our expense? Um, what, just on a real basic level, um, look at things of that nature, set a budget. And probably the other part is as a business owner, you need to look at how are you going to compensate yourself? Like from the, from the standpoint is, you know, you have to look at it as what does this business pay me to do as the business owner? Mm -hmm. Right? And you gotta look at it as, as how am I being compensated for that, for the risk, for the investment, everything that goes into that. And so, you know, define what your budget is. Even if it's something really modest, uh, $500 or $1,000 a week, get used to setting up that discipline down the road because when you're looking at pulling out a larger amount or being able to bring in some professional management, you've already got those discipline, disciplines in place that also account for those expenses up front so you can manage real-time numbers on the bottom line. So that would, I know that was a lot, but you, you just need to go ahead and know where you stand. And the only way you're going to do it is you got to track those numbers uh, on a regular basis and you got to review it. And that's what Todd is about, man. It's about, you know, it's a lot, but it's like, dude, you got to do this for yourself. If yeah. you wanna, he just wants to, to give you the value now. So I'm hoping you were taking notes. Plus, it's going to be in the show notes, so don't worry about that. Um, and, you know, I'd just like to echo also what Todd said that, look, I think it was, it was Covey who said, you know, the stricter you are on yourself, the easier life will be on you. Yeah. I also heard a, a, a quote, I think it's from Ray Dalio, that real wealth isn't like money. It's not having to worry. You know, that's what real True wealth freedom is. is. True yes. freedom is. And if you have a good handle on your numbers, I know it's kind of tedious and it's like, oh my God, I don't like that side of the business. I don't should like also say, you know, just to, to tie into that, is 
if you're the one that's generating sales, you should not be the one doing, you know, hire a bookkeeper. Exactly. And I'm not saying, not just to say you know, hire us, I'm saying hire somebody that actually has an understanding of how this works and can report that back to you on a consistent basis. And you need to hand that off from day one. Do it because it's good for you. Right. And I was saying, you know, like real wealth isn't money, but not having to worry. And that's real freedom. And if you have a good handle on the numbers, right. it's like when you make a purchase, whether it be an upgrade for the business, an upgrade for your life, you know that you can. It's not like, oh, let's do this and just figure it out. Like after, let's buy this because I think right. this will help the business. And so let's just figure it out after. We'll make it up in sales. You know, it's more like, oh, I know that we can. So right. let's do it. And I don't have to worry about, am I going to make up the payments for that? Or So, dude, this, is, this, is a, this has been an amazing conversation. This is the first one, the first episode that we're actually talking about financials in a business. Good. It's interesting. It's important. It's important. It's key. It's a key mm -hmm. practice, a key area. And it's, it's the health of the organization, the best metric for it. So... Um, Todd, my man, um, I know for a fact that if you're a business owner watching this, I know that you, you want some more and Todd will hook you up. He's already giving you a ton of free stuff, by the way. I'm excited about the app. Plus you can reach out to him after he does a shameless plug. You know where to find him. Yes. Yeah, so if you'd like to get more information about what we're doing, to be able to get access to that free app that I mentioned to you uh, along the way. You can actually just go to save 5 hours that save 5 hours.com slash carve and get more information about how that works uh, and uh, I'm happy to go ahead and chat with you a little bit further. You can also look at scheduling if you'd like to schedule a free 15 minute call with me. You could go to schedule dot toddlay.com and uh, from there just go ahead and select what time and date best works for you and we'll go ahead and get you on the calendar for uh, for a free 15 minute call I'm happy to talk with you uh, we work with clients in a variety of different industries like I said I've been at this for uh, for just over 10 years now there's uh, I don't know that there's been anything more unusual that we've come across <laughs> in 10 years so I'd be happy to talk with you and also give you some tips or suggestions uh, on how to create a better structured system to run your business by the numbers. Dude, and with that, I will close this convo episode with a high five. Right on. Dude, um, look, you know where to reach Todd, and if you enjoy this, you don't even want to reach out or anything, but you just want to tell us that you like it and you want more of it, maybe we could go into other, another podcast, even when it's in Cali, hit the like button or show us a comment, put a comment down there. If you're looking for more advice or if you're, if you're just wanting to watch this on your way to work or listen to it on your way to work, don't watch it. Listen to it on, the, on your way to work on your radio. Do it. Just hit the like button. Follow us. Subscribe. Do everything you can to consume the content coming from us. This has been Tom, the host, your host of the time Todd, yeah. uh, thank you so much yes, for, for being you. with us. Thanks for having me a part of this as well. Hey, come on, man. Dude, all the way from Cali. Well, peace out. Talk soon. See you next time.